In 2013, Austin voters approved $65 million in general obligation bonds for affordable housing. By the end of 2016, $27 million had been allocated by the city to assist in the development of a dozen communities. There were 713 new affordable homes for families making less than 50% of the area's median family income. The Aldrich 51 apartments will bring 204 new affordable homes to the Miller development. Many of them will be deeply affordable. Because of the city's investment here, we were able to create 65 of those units as deeply targeted. So they're going to be able to serve folks making anywhere from $8 to $15 an hour, which is fabulous when you think of the location. We're here at Miller, we're here, our market study said that within a two mile radius, there are 9,000 jobs in that income bracket. According to Civic Economics, the bonds have already created 2,300 new jobs for Austin and $130 million in income. And the benefit to Austin's economy from the new development is already about $380 million. If the return on investment continues at the same rate, the total economic impact from the $65 million in bonds will exceed $1.3 billion after 10 years. We have turned a vacant lot into 240 apartment units means that those folks are going to spend money in the local area. A big reason why the bonds are such a big win for Austin is developers are required to use the bond funding to leverage other funding from public and private sources, funding that otherwise would go elsewhere. By 2017, $27 million in bond funding had attracted another $190 million in development funding. That's about a seven to one ratio. I've been really impressed with uh, city staff, the city council, the bond review committee. There are a lot of eyes on these projects. So when you apply for funds, um, you're competing against other good projects. Uh, not everybody gets funded. Uh, there's a lot of give and take in the conversation about what you're developing and the income levels you're serving and the amount of dollars that are needed. There's a lot of emphasis at the city on leverage in the scoring so that if you come in and ask for, say, the bonds to be 10% or 20% of your project, that's really favorable. What's amazing about the housing bonds is that that small investment gets leveraged with other dollars and it has this life-changing effect for families and individuals many times that have been homeless or priced out of Austin. So Blue Bonnet Studios opened uh, right before Christmas and the holidays and we've got a whole array of folks that live here now, uh, some veterans, some musicians, um, kids that have aged out of foster care, um, just lower income uh, workers, folks that would normally not get a chance to live in the urban center part of Austin. Much of the life changing comes from the support services that are often provided to the residents of affordable communities. The 35 units at Jeremiah Program's new Moody campus will be reserved for single mothers with young children who are trying to break out of the cycle of poverty. All the moms are pursuing either two-year or four-year degrees. We help them um, navigate the um, college system, make sure they pick a career path that will get them a living wage and something that they um, love doing. We learned through the years that unless you provide all the pieces as well as life skills classes and empowerment training, the families just aren't able to stay on track. If you don't have safe and affordable housing, you're not going to be able to stay in school. If you don't have a, a safe place for your child to get ready for kindergarten, to have high quality early childhood education, you're not going to feel like you can concentrate on your schoolwork. Clearly, the economic benefits of the bonds are a bonus. The real return on investment comes one person and one family at a time.